गुड मॉर्निंग सिक्स सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टेक योर लेक्चर ऑन ऑस्मोसिस इन योर कोर्स प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ फूड साइंस एंड न्यूट्रिशन व्हाट इज ऑस्मोसिस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द ऑस्मोसिस आई विल टॉक अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ सॉल्यूशन आपने अर्लियर क्लासेस में भी पढ़ा होगा दैट इज देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सॉल्यूशन the first is isotonic solution second is hypertonic solution then hypotonic solution ye hota kya hai aap do glass pani lijiye dono mein 5 5 gram sugar daliye so that have the same concentration of the sugar chini bilkul barabar hai to ye dono solution kya honge isotonic solution That is the same concentration of solute or sugar. Then आपने एक ग्लास में फाइव ग्राम शुगर डाला है देन दूसरे ग्लास में डालिए टेन ग्राम शुगर ये मैं आपको समझाने के लिए बता रही हूं सो so, क्या होगा जिसमें आपने फाइव ग्राम शुगर डाला है दैट इज द हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन With respect to the जिसमें आपने 10 ग्राम शुगर डाला है दैट इज द हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन हाइपर मीन्स ज्यादा हाइपो मीन्स कम सो जिसमें ज्यादा चीनी डाला है शुगर डाला है दैट इज द हाइपर टोनिक सोल्यूशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सोल्यूशन दैट हैव द लेस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ शुगर नाउ द osmosis process what is osmosis osmosis is a passive process which results in the passage passing of solvent from lower concentration to higher concentration of solute by a semi permeable membrane it is a passive process so it results in no expenditure of energy you can easily understand in this way that there is a semi permeable membrane ye semi permeable membrane hai and this is the white dots that is the showing the high concentration of salt and this is concentration showing the low concentration of salt so eventually that result will results in the passing of solvent from this side to this side that is the normal osmosis process but you apply some pressure here that here is the high concentration of salt that will results in the some external pressure is bahar ka pressure diya ja raha hai so that normal process of osmosis will not occur that is from fresh water to salt water here what will happen that by the external pressure that water will pass from that salty water to fresh water so this process is called reverse osmosis is process ka use namak banane mein hota hai salt banane mein use hota hai and there are the factors which affect the rate of osmosis that is pressure temperature surface area water potential and concentration gradient next as abhi to main abhi maine jaise bataya that is what is osmosis that is the normal passive process from low concentration to high concentration but this is the same thing that i have discussed earlier by the external pressure that Uh, passing of solvent from higher concentration to lower concentration now the type of osmosis there are two type of osmosis first is endo osmosis and second is exo osmosis so now what is endo osmosis in endo osmosis when a substance is placed in a hypotonic solution the solvent molecule move inside the cell and become turgid and which undergo deep plasmolysis process so this is called endo osmosis ye example yahan diya hua hai you can see here that hum resins ko agar aap hypotonic solution mein dalte hain that contains the 
lower hypo means lower concentration of solute so by the process of endosmosis that water molecules will move inside the resins so it will results in the swollen resins that is endosmosis but in exosmosis what happens when a substance is placed in a hypertonic solution the solvent molecules move outside the cell and the cell become flaccid and undergo plasmolysis process this is called exosmosis uh, example se aap samajh sakte hain hum log ne unhe grip liya hai grip ko aap hypertonic solution for example salt solution mein dal dijiye that concentration that contains the higher concentration of salt or solute so what will happen jo aapne grips ko dala hai that salty solution that will lose water because this is the salty solution is hypertonic solution so water will move out from the grips and that will result in the shrunken grips that is the exosmosis process now what is the uses of osmosis osmosis plays a important role in food preservation for example salt if you place a food in a salty solution so it removes water from the micro organism as we know that bacteria fungi that affects the food quality and deteriorate it so if you keep it in a salty solution that what happens that bacteria and fungi will lose water from their cells to the more concentrated solution outside so in this process bacteria and fungi and other harmful microorganism gets killed due to shriveling so hence food is preserved for a longer time sugar also acts as a preservative solution uh, same process that uh, salt uh, preserves the food by the osmosis sugar also preserves the food by the process of osmosis by removing water from the microorganism that is bacteria and fungi and that gets shriveled and die so food food will not be contaminated with loads of harmful bacteria and fungi so it gets preserved for a longer time and preserve osmosis is used in food industry in the maple syrup production wine industry dairy industry and concentrating food liquid so i think aap logo ne samajh gaya hoga what is osmosis reverse osmosis and types of osmosis just go through this lecture thank you